We're headed to the woods. You got it. Put on the She's got her helmet on. Today we're taking the uh, 35. Marlin. 35. She's got to drive and I'll open the gate. Well, she don't have to. But I gotta figure out which side of the mud hole I'm gonna jump through. All right, here she comes. It's just easier since we gotta go through two gates. So I told her just slow gear one. with my wagon. Uh oh. Hold, hold up just a second. Let me close the gate. <laughs> oh, Blue's never been stuck. Hey, babe. First gear. Just let the gas out and turn left and just kind of creep out. That's why I said go on this side and not straight, but it's okay. I can't hear the words that are coming out of your mouth. Hey, turn that way. Put it in rewind and start over. Just go straight back. Okay, stop. Now go a little faster forward. Go, go, go. <laughs> she just threw mud all on her window. Hey, back up again. Oh, that's good. You're going to hit the fence. Go quick all the way. Go quick. Okay, we're out of here. You okay? <laughs> Murmur. Yeah, the heat murmur. Oh, I know. The gas makes you hot when you get all oh my gosh, that was hung up and cord about. All right, we're in. Have you ever seen the inside of Old Blue? She's a beauty. Look at her. That's classic. Have I told you a story about that? When I first got this truck, the Rune was one. When Rune was uh, four, his little brother was three, right? I think so. Yes. Yeah, they're a year apart. We don't remember any of those little people. And they thought that you take this, these coins and they thought it was a piggy bank and they filled it up. Oh, you can stop right here. They slap filled it up with change. You know, they're sitting out in the yard. So, there you go. Bye, you Be right back. So, I had to take it out of the dash. And I'm not an ornithologist, so it was really hard for me. I took it out and uh, had to take the box part of the CD player apart and dig all the coins out and uh, then put it back together and it worked I was very proud of the self she got mud all over old blue that's okay so then let's close this gate so then about a week later they did it again let's go Hey, I can drive now. Oh, we're gonna swap. She's gonna go around. It's about 70 degrees today. I know, it's ridiculous. 70 degrees. So, we're heading to see what's over here. Was I slinging a lot of mud? <laughs> it looked like it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun, isn't it? <laughs> it kind of was. But I was kind of scared, too. It's fun. All right, let's go. It's a little dirt off the tires. Oh, I messed up. I was trying to be all fancy and show tire moving like I'm on the Discovery Channel or something. It didn't work. I started banging the apparatus around. Hey, this is our secret spot. We gotta be very, very quiet. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Yeah, let me uh, stop right here. Before I slip into the secret spot, I like to peek and see if there's anything out there. I don't see anything. That's good. To the secret spot. What is that? I gotta go hunt. I cannot play rock right now. I don't even like rocks. 
Let's get in. You ready, darling? Let's go. There we go. We have backed all blue up into the back cave. So we're good. We're going to sneak right around over here and sit in those two chairs. Remember, that's the spot where I sat and had that deer get so close to me many moons ago. Let's go. I'm waiting on my bride. Psst. It don't have to close. It doesn't have to close all the way. She's prepared. <laughs> you got your stuff, whatever. Come on. <laughs> She's got her goggles. You got towels. Let's go. We gotta go down the subtle hill and over there. Let's go. We're seated. I got this thing is sighted in at a hundred yards. I've hit accurately at 200 yards, but I don't like to. So my situation is, the farthest corner out there is 163 yards, and straight across to those trees is about 99 yards, and way out there, it's well over probably 700 yards, or more than that, close to 1,000 yards, as well as back that way. There's so many bugs, little gnats. What are you doing? <laughs> She's trying to get the naps out of that uh, keeps the gnats out of her blow holes. I understand. Stop talking. You know what I need? I need this. We got a problem. I'm doing pretty good. I'm not panicking, I'm not getting mad. We went to hunt and when I uh went to chamber one of the rounds, the lever got hung up on on that marlin, so that ended the hunt real quick. And then as we were driving off, there was smoke pouring out from underneath the hood. <laughs> and I thought my truck was on fire and these two wires, or this one wire burn up. The problem is, we're way out in the middle of now here, and we're stuck. So I need to get one of these zip ties, because those keep trucks running, zip ties, and rig it up on these two wires and see if it'll crank. Let's see. That didn't work. We're done. Oh, darling. Don't look so bummed out. What she's impressed with is the fact that I haven't pitched a fit yet, huh? <laughs> I can't believe it. Let's well, go. Need to walk. Yeah, we're going to have to walk. I'll carry you over the creek. Because it's kind of deep. This is a bummer. I don't know why it's burning the wires up. I've never had that kind of problem with this beautiful machine. And the bearded one's hunting too, so I just told him I'd talk to him later. So, <laughs> you ready to walk? Yeah, I don't care. All right, let's it's go. It's an adventure, right? Yeah, it is, I guess so. Let's go. She's laughing. Actually, she's incredibly impressed that I haven't gone into freak out mode yet. <laughs> Old Blue's only left me stranded once. And that was because I got on an angle that was too much for it, and it's got this little white switch under the, uh... I got my orange on too. It's got this little white switch under the uh, floor mat on the passenger side where if you have a rollover, it, she doesn't know this story, where if you have a rollover, it turns off the gas supply. Okay, so you'll roll over. Yeah, and since I'm always sideways in that truck, because <laughs> that's what it's made for, I just uh, kind of rigged it up so it doesn't do that anymore. The wind's blowing hard, there's a storm coming. It's supposed to storm for about three hours straight. And I gotta get that truck out of this field. It could be raining right now. We're getting soaked in How's my orange helmet look? I've got an orange hat that says my orange hat. <laughs> orange hunting hat. Let's go. The bearded one's coming to the rescue. This is, this is where the trick photography comes in. You ever see videos um, of people doing what they're doing? First of all, they're out by themselves. We're not by ourselves, but uh, I'm going to carry her across the creek. But to do that, I've got to cross the creek first if I want to show you. Hook up the camera, turn it on, walk back across the creek, get her and carry her across, and then go back and edit the video so you don't see me walk back across the creek. 
But since I don't edit, yeah, you can see it all. You about to see the real deal. I run and tell your mom about that. Okay. I'm gonna get moisture upon my boots, and I just got these jokers dried out. So the first thing I will do is go across it. It's not deep. You know, now that I think about it. You want me to just walk through it? No, I don't want you to walk through it. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna have to get soaked in Well, y'all wanna see me carry her across this creek? I just don't, I don't want them to see me carry you across the creek because what if my muscles blow up and my shirt tears open? Well, then let's just skip the recording. Nah, we'll go. Let me run across here and, and hook I'm going to turn this off while I jam across it. But you'll see me go back across the creek. Can you, can you see her? Look at that. It is stuck like that. Look at that. It is stuck like that. So I'm going to put that down right there and quit crying. I got to turn the camera off so they don't figure out our magic tricks. I called my dad and he's gonna come and I think. But I got a new country song. I took my bride hunting and my gun broke and then my truck caught on fire. That's the way hits start and you're laughing. <laughs> Look at that. I'm just glad it's still daylight in that dark. No, I don't always stick the barrel in the dirt. So now we gotta walk. There he is, he's here to get us. Oh, he's coming on the back side? Yeah. Oh, good. I thought he was gonna come through the cattle field. He's coming in to rescue us on his yellow wagon. Submarine, there's my dad on the yellow submarine. Let's get out of here. Beard and Wood is on the scene. You know what I mean? So now, we're back where we started. opening the gate and uh, go get my wagon. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna go. Ah, we're in. There's a beach ball in the creek down there. Oh, my bride's driving all blue. Actually, the bearded one's pulling it. So now one more mud hole and we're home free. We made it to the creek. All right. I almost got the truck out of the spot. I'm about to get rained on with some mud. Bearded one came to the rescue. 
So now I gotta just get on the road and drive a while. <laughs> no big deal. All right, thanks for watching videos. We're home free now.